Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kyle's Technical World. This is Kyle, and today we are going to be unboxing four Seagate 3.5 inch Iron Wolf 6 terabyte hard drives for the Synology DS420J, and we are also going to set that up today. Before we get started, like the video if you like it, subscribe, hit the bell icon down below, leave a comment on this video, check out my Amazon affiliate links in the description for these products to get them at a cheaper price and to help support the channel. Now let's get into the unboxing. So here's the standard packaging for the Seagate Iron Wolves. They have a picture of the wolf on there, description of it at the bottom. These are NAS rated drives, so they're the red drives. So here is the standard packaging for each of these drives. So you take it out, we'll put that box to the side. You got your standard limited warranty, which you can register on their website. Of course, a little packaging in the box, and that's the hard drive in its protective anti-static bag. Put that to the side. Gonna do the same thing for all four of these. These hard drives will be in the description on Amazon as well as the Synology DS4J. So here are the four six terabyte drives. Here's the Synology box in front of us. Now we are going to open up this box. So we're going to turn this bad boy around. Here's the back of it. We are going to take out four screws. So there we're going to pop off four of them screws. They're finger tight screws, so you just unscrew each of them. And once you have those off, the panel nicely just opens up. Here you have the bay area, but of course you gotta pop this off by pulling it forward and lifting up on it. That can set to the side. And here is the enclosure. Here's the hard drive caddy. So with all four caddies out of the NAS drive, you can see the internals of it. So that's where the processor sits on that heat sink right there, and the fans cool it. So that's what it looks like inside. Very nice. So we are going to pop in these NAS drives. And to do that, with the three and a half inch drives, right here tells you how to indicate them to line up the SATA connectors for power and data. So it tells us how to do that and what screws to use. So setup is pretty simple. I'm gonna pop one of these open. So the static bags, you can always reuse them for other electronics. And this is what the six terabyte iron drive, iron wolf drive looks like. Nice six terabyte drive, nice and thick, very beautiful. Perfect for a NAS setup. Here's your enclosure. And we are going to put that in the enclosure here. So here's the enclosures. Just like that, it has four screws, Phillips head screws. So I'm gonna get my screws for them which are located in this bag here. So using another hard drive to prop it up on both sides, sort of. We can pop in screws here. 
So these screws are just to screw it to the plastic caddy, of course. So nothing too special in terms of just putting in the screws. Those are self-explanatory. And there's a set of optional screws that go here, and that goes to the enclosure part. And I'll demonstrate that to you guys, to you guys as well. These screws, they will tighten very um, loosely. Not too loose, but like finger tight. So they're not going to be overly tightened. They're not going to strip the inner part of the screw. So when you tighten them, they pretty much tell you you can feel the resistance when the back off on the tightening. So it doesn't strip the screw. So here's one, one drive done. That's, so that's what it looks like when it's in its finished caddy. So that's one. All four drives are now ins installed into their caddies. So now we're going to put these drives into the enclosure. And you can see here on the side of this enclosure, screw holes, which are used for the optional screws on either side. And they're labeled here. And there's labeling on this side. It's very faint label in here that says hard drive one, two, three, and four on the side. So that's very nice. So you take your hard drive, and you just line it up, push it in, you hear a little, you can feel the resistance of it clicking into the SATA connectors, and there's like a little bit of a click when it goes in there. That's all three of them, and they're nice and flush. Fourth one's a little bit tricky, but that's easy to get in there. Just have to watch out for these fan cables. Now with all four hard drives installed, we will be putting on the extra set of screws here. They're optional, but we're gonna put them on. The reason why Synology gives these extra screws is to, one, prevent excess, excess hard drive vibrations to go from hard drive one, two, three, and four, or vice versa, or any other drive to interfere with any other hard drive. So it keeps the drive from rattling around too much inside of the enclosure. The second reason why Synology includes these screws is sort of a security reason. So if someone, if you don't have a Kensington lock to lock the drive itself, you can have these screws in here as well, and these screws will prevent someone from just obviously ripping the drives right out of the enclosure. Is that full security proof? Of course not. If they have a screwdriver, they can obviously bypass these screws, and there's also another set of screws on the other side as well. So even though there's two sets of screws, you can still bypass all this but it's an extra layer of security and hard drive reassurance for excess vibrations from one drive to the next to decrease the chance of drive failure, which you want for a NAS setup in the first place. And these are just your standard Phillips head screws. So they go onto the caddy in the center part of that plastic caddy. Bring the enclosure back around. There we go. Finally. Put the back door back on. And we can screw it back in. The back door is a little finicky to put on just depends on how everything lines up so you can't really tighten one screw overly tight. But uh, that's it for the installation. I will see you guys on the computer for the online setup. This is Kyle here from Kyle's Technical World. 
during the installation process of the software for the DS420J Synology NAS box, there was issues with it being set up over my network due to a Ethernet port connector that was damaged on the Airport Express and the fact that the software was having issues after that connecting to the device and setting up the hard drives and software failed to install from the iPad. I had to try it. It failed. Windows 10 desktop, it failed on there. My MacBook Pro, it failed on. I had to do it a couple times over. I could not get a proper recording of that. So I'm doing a little voiceover for you guys just to let you know what was the issues. Otherwise than that, guys, it is working 100% of the time. There will be a updated video to follow on. And I will be doing more videos on this Synology box and other technical videos on this channel, of course. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, check the Amazon links down below to support the channel and get the products for cheaper. Like, subscribe, follow on my Twitter. Go to my main channel, The Apple Guy, so you can get all your Apple technology news there and whatnot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.